main things with bike fitting, sort of the huge things about bike fitting are you absolutely have to sort of make the bike fit your body. Um, buying a bike because it was a good deal off your next door neighbour or whatever, and it being a small frame, you can bring it into me and we can do it, we can try and change it, but in the end it's just not going to work. So you've got to get fitted up to your frame, and from there we make this bike fit you. So we adjust the saddle, we adjust the stem, we adjust a lot of angles. We change different settings and put shims underneath your pedals and do all sorts of things, but you've got to make this fit you. That's a really important bit. The next thing to remember about bike fitting is it, it's a bike fit window, so to speak. So if we're talking about something simple, and this will make more sense when I put Michael up here, but we're talking about simple measurement, like simply how high do you have your saddle, all right? There's a, there's a 10 degree difference or, or a window there of fit that's, that's okay, and within that window you'll function fine. So, People get really hung up on taking a tool with them and in between rides changing things massively and differently and trying to have it absolutely perfect. And, and, and there, there is a perfect, but it's a window of perfect. All right? um, and the last thing to probably consider with bike fitting is, I take some static measurements, but they're really just a guide. The dynamic bike fitting is by far the best because you're, you're cycling, you're flying along. So if you're going to get fitted, go to someone who hopefully knows what they're talking about, has a couple of cameras or a 3D setup and they can measure everything whilst you're riding so that they can, on their laptop, I usually have a couple of cameras and a laptop set up with motion analysis software. They can, they can freeze it and look at it while you're in the position, while you're putting the power down. I think when we take static measurements, which I'm just going to show you for ease today, if we put you in a certain position and take a static measurement, you're just not really, you're, you're not activating these muscles properly, they're not under load. So dynamics better than static.